Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? Drone B here. And uh, I've got a, video, I got a video that I'm really excited to make today. I want to do a comparison on attacking and defense, uh, the, a comparison between Shiva and Leviathan, and then no astral. So we're going to do, we'll do nine different tests, and we'll see which, which astral, how, how the different astrals fare in terms of defense and offense. And so you can get a real sense on the differences which one's a lot better, which one's a lot worse, uh, just how good it is in general. So for these tests, I'm going to be attacking my little drone account. So this is my farm account. Um, I, I beefed it up. I got it pretty pretty leveled up. I got my Ignis 142. I got my gear pretty leveled up. Uh, it's a decent trap account. It's a pretty decent trap account for sure. Got a lot of traps, and I was able to get the T7 traps. So currently, I have an even mix of troops on this attack uh, on this account. I've got a third warriors, a third mages, and a third cavalry. Uh, for this first attack, we're going to do with no astrals. So I went ahead and I occupied this tile with my Shiva. So we're going to do an attack. We're going to see how this goes. I guess I need to quit the guild real quick though, so we can attack it. All right, so we are set. Attack number one. Uh, let's scout it. I'll, I'll show you guys what the scout report looks like first. So we've got, uh, so you can get a decent sense at least of how many troops. So I went with all fire traps. So we're going to be attacking with warriors, or no, excuse me. We're going to be attacking with mages and with cavalry troops. So uh, I figure fire traps won't help or hurt the test. So we've just got the fire traps. Uh, and again, a pretty even mix of troops. And we're ready in all hospitals. All hospitals and good gear on. So let's do this. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is let's attack. Oh, uh, totally forgot about these troops. Maybe I'll let them get, get home first. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, we'll set up our attack. So there might be a little bit more cavalry, but it'll be close enough that I don't think it'll make much difference. So my plan, we're going to attack, we've got a Leviathan right now, let's attack with Fire Cavalry. And I think, uh, I won't attack with a Full March, we'll do, let's do 400,000 just for the test. Uh, no, no reason to sacrifice all my Fire Troops, right? <laughs> so we'll do 400,000 for this test. Uh, if we need to make more, we will. And we got to send our Leviathan, actually first attack, let's do no Leviathan. Let's just attack with Cindy. And we'll just get a base base attack to see what kind of results we get with it. So that looks good. Maybe I'll send some traps too, just uh, in hopes that it buffs up. You know, it's a little little meat shield in between my cavalry troops and death. So that'll save some fire troops. Maybe. Maybe they'll all die. I really have no idea what to expect. So let's do this. Uh, attack number one, guys. Whew. Now I've... I've this little drone account, I'm pretty pleased with it. I've got it really, really zoned in. I feel pretty, pretty good about this little drone account right now. I've been attacked by a lot of people, and I keep just holding up really well, especially when I reinforce it. But uh, yeah, so let's see how this does. Attack number one, we got a defeat, and indeed, a lot of troops survived. So good deal. Uh, again, this is this is with no. This is just a a control report. This is no astrals on either side. 400,000 fire uh, cavalry with a little bit of fire traps, and then bam. We only killed 65,000 traps, so hardly any. Uh, I do have Ignis all mastery skill points in trap HP, so these traps are super tanky. Uh, I need to... Instant build those traps back. Alright, so we're ready for the next attack. So here's this battle report if you guys want to check it out. Those fire traps are super tanky. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. That is pretty nice to have. They're really 500k. Or in this case, actually, let's look at my trap HP because I'm kind of curious. Uh, traps are so tanky. So tanky with, with high level Ignis, with new T7 traps. Uh... But yes, let's look at my... Okay, so this trap HP 
is going to say, that's with my Leviathan, 555. Uh, but since I didn't send my Leviathan, I don't know if I got all that on the march. I guess this would be a good way to find out. Uh, let's, you know, let's test this. Let's do another, uh, let's do the same attack, but with Shiva, and see if more troops die. So not even sending my Shiva, we're just doing the same attack, and see if more troops die. Because I'm curious, does that trap HP apply to all your marches? That's basically what we're testing for here. So let's test it out. We'll do the exact same thing. Nothing different. Uh, fire traps again. And fire cavalry. Ooh, just 400,000. <laughs> let's not go too crazy. All right. So in theory, this should be the exact same, right? Uh, unless the Leviathan buffs your traps, even if he's not with the troops, with the traps when you tag. I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. You'll notice here my trap HP is going to be, it's going to be 200,000 lower because I don't have a Leviathan active. But I didn't send a Leviathan with either marches. So it'll be an interesting test here. And... Way more troop stack, guys. So even in your marches that don't have Leviathan, if you have a Leviathan, he's going to buff their trap HP if you have him skilled for that. That's pretty amazing. Look at that. This should be the same, right? The only difference is I have a Leviathan active for the first attack, but not for the second attack. And it still buffed my traps, even though Leviathan wasn't with the traps. So, I think that's pretty important to note, guys. To me, that makes Leviathan even more viable. But, wow. So, let's look at these reports. Uh, actually, less traps died and more troops died. Just having, and that's not even sending Leviathan. That's just having him active in my empire when I attacked. That's crazy to me. Wow. Uh, let's make sure everything was the same there. So, we attacked with fire cavalry, fire traps. And, yeah, that's the same, guys. That's the same, except for we did way worse, even not sending a goddess. That's crazy to me. That's crazy. So, uh, in other words, Leviathan's already looking good, and we haven't even sent him in a march yet. <laughs> what? All right, so now let's do, uh, actually, real quick, I'll rebuild the traps. Boom, I rebuilt them. Let's do that same attack again. Except for let's attack, um, okay, let's attack with mages, uh, because Shiva buffs mages, right? So we're going to attack with 400,000 fire mages, and let's see if we do, let's see how much better we do. So if we're sending the Shiva this attack, and we're sending fire mages instead of cavalry. I would imagine that, yeah, so Shiva buffs mages, right? So that makes sense. We could go ice mages. But I'm pretty sure fire mages will be better for attacking an empire than the ice mages, even though Shiva buffs ices. And the reason is because fire gets the attack buff, buffing, uh, you know, attacking empires. So let's do this attack. Let's see how it goes. Oh, actually, I forgot to send the traps. Hold on. That was, that was a fail. Failed attempt on my part. So uh, let's do this again. This time, we're going to send the traps. So 400,000 fire mages and 71,000 fire traps. Uh, while that's going, I'm going to build up some more fire traps. <laughs> if I can. Oh, I'm going to need to activate Ignis. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's dismiss some of these. Okay, we're going to have to dismiss more. Dismiss them all. All right, here we go. All right, let's see how that attack went. So attack number three, we lost everything. We lost everything. And now, what? We lost everything, guys. So did having Shivas hurt us there? I think it did. All our troops... More troops survived when we didn't send Shiva than when we sent Shiva. Now, what's that about? Did we kill more at least? We, we killed less. 
okay, what, what's the deal with this, guys? So we sent Shiva. You would think we would kill more by sending Shiva with our march. But yet, all our troops died. And, uh, and we killed less. So sending Shiva with your march, maybe not the best idea, according to this battle report. Now, we didn't change anything. We changed absolutely nothing there. Both marches we sent Cindy. So the hero's there. Nothing changed on the trap account. The only thing different is we sent Shiva and all our troops died. That's kind of strange, guys. So um, maybe you don't want to send Shiva when you're attacking people. Maybe not. Maybe not, guys. Uh, now, the benefit of sending Shiva is all the astral HP is going to have to be removed before your hero is captured. So that's the benefit of sending the Shiva is maybe you're going to have a little bit more survivability chance if you attack them. But to me, that battle report looks quite a bit uglier. And the only difference was we included Shiva in that one. That was the only difference. Oh, actually, yeah, that was the only difference. What? I just, that, to me, that makes no sense, guys. But uh, we're going to press on. <laughs> okay, actually, let's let's attack with cavalry. Let's, let's attack with cavalry. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe... Uh, let's heal up your sh my Shiva and attack with cavalry and see if... Oh, man, that's weird to me. That is weird to me, guys. Because this attack, did we attack with cavalry on this one? We did. So let's try attacking with cavalry again. Maybe my cavalry is a lot better. Uh, that's the only thing I can hope for at this point. So let's do that same thing, but with cavalry. And see what kind of results we get. And we're going to have to train more fire cavalry at this point. <laughs> so, wow. I don't even know what to make of this so far, guys. So, so far, Leviathan actually makes your troops, makes your traps a lot better. And Shiva seemed like it made our troops worse. <laughs> um, maybe my cavalry troops have more HP. We should probably look into that. That could be the only difference. And this... Battle report. Okay, so my cavalry troops are way better than my mages, apparently. That's what it is. So, scratch what I just came up with uh, in terms of why all those troops died. My cavalry troops are just a lot better, apparently. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll attack with cavalry from now on. So, here's a weird thing, guys. Even though Shiva buffs up mages, like it didn't buff up my mages enough to cover the difference to how much better my cavalry troops are. So that's kind of interesting. Wait, and why does my Shiva have more HP in? What's going on, guys? Was my Shiva not full for that first attack? It must not have been. Must not have been full. Hmm. Well, so far I'm failing in this video. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so we'll do a quick summary. So we did those four attacks and a quick summary to try and make sense of what just happened. So this first attack, what we did is we had a Leviathan active, but we didn't send him with the march for this attack, but it still buffed the trap HP. So that was the best battle report we've seen so far. For the second attack, I had Shiva active, but didn't send her, and it uh, this attack failed quite a bit worse than the Leviathan, even though... We didn't send any Astrals in either marches. Uh, then we attacked again with Shiva and Mages. However, I realized I didn't um, heal up my Shiva. I forgot to heal my Shiva. So maybe this was somewhat distorted. But we attacked with Mages. And, the ma and it failed completely. And I think it failed uh, probably more than anything because my Cavalry Troops have a lot better buffs than my Mage Troops. So we're going to toss this one out, just kind of pretend this one didn't happen. We attacked again, this time with Shiva and Cavalry Troops. And it did better, but still still not great. Like, you can see Shiva doesn't help out all that much. Uh, real quick, we'll show you the battle. We'll compare the battle reports with Shiva and without Shiva. And, um, yeah, let me delete this one first, though, because this is in the way. Okay, so here's without without Shiva, 
we killed 46,000 traps and we lost 276,000 with Shiva we lost a thousand less and we killed a couple thousand more so Shiva does help to send with your with your march uh, yeah so Shiva does help sending it with your march now it's still it, for me it's still better to send Shiva with my cavalry troops than Shiva with my mages which is kinda interesting but yeah so there's a bad report guys Shiva helped out a little bit it also gave my hero a little bit better survivability so it's definitely worth sending a Shiva with your attacks um, if you're going to attack somebody. So that one one battle report was just a fail on my part because I didn't realize mages are worse. My mages are worse than my cavalry. So moving on, we're now going to do an attack with Leviathan cavalry. So I'll instant train my traps back and we're going to summon Leviathan. And I guess I should heal him up. Probably should. Kind of a waste of a heal, but we're going to have to do it anyway, so. <laughs> Alright. Attack number, we'll, we'll call this the third attack, since that other one kind of failed. Uh, again, we're going to do Fire Cavalry, 400,000. And we're going to send the Fire Traps again. Just as a little buffer to hopefully help keep my troops alive. So this is, actually this is the fourth attack, so the first, yeah, we, we just summarized it. I won't ramble on again about it. Um, now, so far, Leviathan, even if he's not sent with your march, seems to help out. If you, especially if you have Cindy and you can send traps with your march, you're better off having Leviathan and not sending him than, uh, than having a Shiva and sending Shiva. So we still got a defeat. Uh, again, we didn't lose very much, and we've now killed, this is the most we've killed yet, 118,000. So, pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Uh, we actually almost got a victory there, even not even sending a full march. So, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty pleased with that. So, that sums it up. Now, we're going to have to equip an Astral on, so I have both Shiva and a an Leviathan on Little Drone. So we're going to equip uh, Shiva first, and we'll do another attack. The same thing. This time we'll do, we'll just keep going with our Leviathan. A Leviathan up against a Shiva for defense. So uh, uh, before I forget, I'll go ahead and equip that Shiva. Um, or in this case, send her home. Because I, I sent her to occupy a tile right here so we'll send her home we'll do another attack same thing as last attack except for this time Shiva is going to be defending here and we'll get a good sense of how good Shiva is for defense nice uh, I don't think I'm even going to bother healing him up it's pretty close to full let's train some more traps though or build some more whatever you call it you train troops you build traps nice uh, we might need more fire cavalry yeah let's just while we're waiting for Shiva to return, I'll train some more cavalry and produce them, uh, imbue them into fire. Should be good for now. And let's see. Elamancy Hall, Fire Cavalry. Nice. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. So, um, yeah, same exact thing. We're going to send our Cindy Leviathan. We'll send our Fire Cavalry 400,000. And we'll send our Fire Traps. And see how this goes. So Shiva versus Leviathan. Everything else is the same. Uh, so let's see how much better Shiva does in your empire. I'm pretty excited about this. One really cool thing about the Leviathan buffing your traps, even if it's not with your troops and traps, is that means if you have a Leviathan and the crystal, you're still going to get the trap HP buffs on all your traps defending your empire. So uh, if you're really if you're nervous about 
sending out your Leviathan to capture the crystal? Don't be, because you're still going to get the trap buffs, the trap HP buffs. With that, if you, if you have that skill in Leviathan anyway, you'll still get the trap HP buffs, which I highly recommend everybody get that skill because it's one of the best Leviathan skills. So here we go. Let's see what changed here. We lost almost 300,000. And did we destroy the same? 117. Let's check it out. So we killed slightly less and we lost a lot more. So Shiva is great for trap accounts for defensive purposes. Definitely, if you have a Shiva, keep her in, her, in your empire. And uh, yeah, it made a big difference. We almost lost... Yeah, we almost lost twice as many troops going up against a Shiva here. And look at Shiva lost hardly any HP in that attack. Hardly any. So I'm pretty pleased with that. What that what that says to me is Shiva helps out a lot, guys. Like if even if you don't want to get the astral building blueprints to level up your astral to get the Leviathan, you can still level up your Shiva and she's still gonna help out a lot. She's still gonna help out a lot, yeah. Almost twice as much attack damage here. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. So yeah, I'll rebuild the traps and then let's go again. This time I'm going to uh, summon Leviathan for defense on my little drone account. So we'll see how much uh, better Leviathan is for defense than Shiva. That's that's what we're going for here. Uh, same exact thing. We'll do Cindy, Leviathan, 400k, and fire traps. So um, I have Leviathan. My Leviathan on Little Joan is 53. And my Shiva on Little Jones, like 50. So they're really close in level, uh, basically the same level. So this is equivalent level Shiva versus equivalent level Leviathan. Probably should have mentioned that earlier, but I'm mentioning it now. <laughs> um, and look at that, guys. I lost all my troops and only killed 70,000 traps. Wow. So you've seen it here, Leviathan. Way, way, way better than Shiva. Way better than Shiva. At the same level. Same level of Leviathan versus same level of Shiva. Not even close. And we kind of figured that, but you can see it lost almost half as many traps because I have a 200,000% trap HP buff with Leviathan. So he makes your traps so tanky. Even T6 traps were holding up against T7 fire elementals uh, over the weekend for the RVRs when I was testing it out. So really, yeah, a low even like even a low level Leviathan, if you max out that trap HP, is gonna do really good for defense. So I also maxed out the cavalry attack on this Leviathan. So Little Joan, it has uh, 100, over a hundred thousand cavalry attack with two hundred thousand percent trap HP with Leviathan. Yeah, the moral of the story is Leviathan is so good. Yeah, he's so good. Like, really, comparing Leviathan versus Shiva, you can't. Leviathan's so much better. But problem with Leviathans, you're going to need to level up your Astral Shrine, which as of now costs money. Anybody can get Shiva. And if you have the Moogle Market, if you've been uh, attacking like the King Triss, you can level up your Shiva that way. Or whatever, you know, monsters in the Moogle Market, whenever we get those invasions. So, you can, and you can level up your Leviathan too. But, but anybody can level up their Shiva, because everybody has Shiva, assuming they've unlocked the Astral Shrine building, which I think most people, a lot of people have got a free building unlock for that, and if you're trying to decide what to do with your free building unlock, it's not even close. You need this building right here, you need it, and you gotta have this building, even if you only get Shiva and level Shiva up, you need it, and the Moogle Market. To me, those are the best two buildings still. Uh, Coming up close on that is the Arcanium, but I would get both of those first before the Arcanium. That's what I would do. And yeah, so so there's our test, guys. What this says to me, Leviathan. So it's Leviathan is 
super, super important. So if you can only buy one pack, and you know, I'm, this is what I'm doing, guys. I'm not spending any more money on this game at all, ever again. I'm kind of sick of this game. Like, I love this game, but I'm sick of the things they do in this game. <laughs> so I'm sick of how they keep introducing new stuff. That doesn't really make the game better. It just means everybody has to buy it if they want to be, you know, stay on top. And to me, that gets kind of old. I think they need some new stuff to this game to kind of mix up how the battles work rather than just sending T9 instead of T8, right? Now, some things help, like adding traps is kind of interesting. But anyways, so I'm kind of rambling on about nothing there. But uh, if you are going to buy a pack, it's worth getting the pack to level up your Astral Shrine. I think that's probably one of the better packs because look at how much better look at how much better you are for defense with Leviathan and with attacks for Leviathan, right? Because here we could see the uh, Leviathan attack against no uh, you know no Astral, and we killed way more than without a Leviathan, right? So. Leviathan's going to be better for attacks, he's going to be better for defense, a lot better for defense. And in the new meta, you need Leviathans in the crystal if you want to keep the crystal, because what a lot of people do is they'll put 3 million cavalry troops or as many cavalry troops in the crystal as they can, and then they'll put 300,000 or however many traps in the crystal they can. And if you have 3 Leviathans in the crystal, your traps are going to be so tanky that it's going to be super hard to eat through all your traps and I'm going to show you guys some battle reports and some battles I've done over the weekend uh, or last week and I'll, I'll make a video on RVR battles and holding crystals and tactics but what you'll see from those is how important traps are in the crystal these days they're so tanky it's sort of like a guardian like a free cheap guardian having traps with leviathans in the crystal so uh, I think Leviathan's definitely the wave of the future. Now eventually I'm sure we'll be able to get the Astral Building Blueprints for free. I'm sure at some point. It might be a while though. Uh, in the meantime, Leviathan's super important. They did, of course, as soon as I get Leviathan's leveled up, they come out with a, uh, a new weapon that eats through all goddesses pretty easily. Eats through your Shiva and eats through your Leviathan really fast. It's the, the Destiny Blades, the Master Destiny Blades. They just wipe out. And I learned the hard way. I lost my hero attacking your crystal. And I didn't know that how good that weapon was. And I, I did one attack. The guy didn't have the weapon. And then my second attack, I was even sent an extra Leviathan. So I sent both two Leviathans in a rally. And the whole rally got eaten. The only difference was the guy had the weapon. So uh, that new weapon is going to be pretty pretty important too if you want to hold crystals and uh, or, or just for defensive purposes if you want to capture heroes you're gonna want that that destiny blade but uh, you know I'm not gonna get it I'm I'm done I'm done guys I am done spending money on this game I'm, but I'm still gonna have fun I'm, I'm still gonna keep playing it and making videos but uh, everything's gonna be free at some point right guys like like, uh, you could spend a grand today to get all the new f fancy diamonds and the new fancy blades. But uh, at the end of the day, a year from now, everybody's going to have that, even if they don't spend money, for the most part. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of cutting it back. I'm also a little disgusted, too, um, with Machine Zone. So, I made a video... <laughs> and I want to apologize, guys. I owe everybody, I owe everybody that plays this game an apology. Uh, but I'm I'm only going to take like 75% of the blame, and I'm going to blame Machine Zone for the rest of it, because I made a video about how to farm speed up during RVR, and literally that night, the RVR they changed the drops for the guild prizes, so that nobody can get speed ups anymore. So I don't know if they saw my video, so maybe Machine Zone's out there watching, and one of the developers saw my video, and they're like, ah, now we got to get rid of the March speed ups because we can't let people get anything for free in this game. So, I don't know if that was my fault or if they had planned to do that anyway. Maybe they had planned to do that anyway. Uh, I didn't think I was even on their radar. Uh, on their radar, I figured I was, you know, just kind of doing my own thing. They didn't even know I existed. But uh, perhaps that video was evidence that we have, we're making enough of a wave that they're listening to us. 
So uh, if anybody has any suggestions for Mach Machine Zone, let's let them know. Leave a comment and tell Machine Zone what you want because they don't listen to their customer support, but maybe they listen to my videos. So <laughs> uh, that's the moral of the story, I guess. But uh, I don't know. So I guess I need to be more careful in the future about what information I reveal. Like maybe I can do this more of a silent nod to how to get the speed ups than actually like explicitly saying it and you know making it really easy for the yeah I don't know guys let me know what you think about that do you think it was my fault I'm kinda curious uh, if it was I'm sorry cuz man we want speed ups right like now we have to use loyalty and loyalties yeah I don't know I'd rather well I guess there isn't so I use loyalty for teleports I guess I'm now gonna have to use it for speed ups which is what I had to do back in the day but Oh well, I guess it is what it is, guys. And that's what it is. <laughs> All right, hope you guys are doing good, and uh, I'm going to be making a lot of videos this week and the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned, and uh, yeah, let's let's kick some butt, guys. I don't even know what that means, but let's keep <laughs> let's, let's keep going on, guys. Let's keep living, let's keep having fun, and uh, keep smiling. All right, be good, guys. Be good to yourselves. You deserve it, probably.